Hello, I'm Steve Waterworth, Technical Marketing Manager at Weaveworks. In this presentation, David Stauffer, the Product Manager for Weave GitOps, will demonstrate how Weave GitOps can provision a fully configured Kubernetes cluster on micro VMs in around four minutes. Sit back and enjoy. This is what you see our Weave GitOps UI. And you can see here in my dashboard, these are my connected clusters, my very small fleet currently, and we're gonna create a new cluster. So the first thing you will observe here is what we call cluster templates. So what we're gonna to use today to, to show you how we bootstrap a cluster is cluster API. And if you're wondering where are these templates living, I can surely show you. So of course the templates are in a Git repo. Sorry, this is basically the repo we're gonna use or we are using. This is our management repo. If we go to apps, copy, templates, here you can see basically our, our templates. And we provide as well a small markup language. We, we actually are currently trying to upstream to the, Kuban, to the cluster API project, which defines basically the guardrails. If you can see, for example, here as a platform operator, we want only to allow in a self-service fashion that you can choose between this three Kubernetes version or between this kind of number of control planes or this two CNI we support. And we can put these options directly into the template and make sure that when a user is self-servicing these templates that only these options are visible. So if we go now to the next step and we say we want to create a cluster, this is this render template. And if you are careful and you just watch, so first of all, I'm gonna give it a name and I'm gonna call it liquid 25. And if you have seen, we had only these two options as were our guardrails and we're gonna choose Cilium. So in this case, we need um, as well to define our control plane um, IP and we're gonna say it's number 25. We're gonna say how much control planes you want. If you look, this are the guardrails we set at the same for our Kubernetes version. And we're gonna say how much worker machines we want. We're gonna say two, this should be fine for this cluster. And now comes the interesting thing. So if you are looking, I cannot even deselect Prometheus because the platform team decided, for example, that Prometheus needs to be on any cluster. So this is as well defined as an annotation. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna scan right now the template in too much depth, but this is an annotation to the template. And what I'm gonna do is additionally, I'm gonna choose our policy agent. So we want to as well to make sure we install the policy agent. And this is basically the dynamically part. So very similar to, to an app experience, your users in a self-service fashion can select the authorized cluster components. You as a platform team have authorized and labeled appropriately um, and make sure that this are basically then there for a self-service. So what we're gonna do is as well, we're gonna define the self-service and what we need to inject is a couple of information. We need to say what account ID is this. This is some useful metadata and this is cluster ID is liquid 25. And we need a certificate. So we're gonna as well automate this later on, but for today's demo, I already have prepared here my certificates. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna replace this. And this is basically what we need to inject in the values.yaml for this particular Helm chart. And now this is the GitOps portion. So we're gonna basically create a pull request. So first of all, we need to authenticate with Git. So I need to authorize this with my Git account so that we can actually write the repo. And now we should be able to create this specific pull request. So if you remember, we called it liquid 25 and it appeared here and you can see the state, it's a creation PR. And now we directly from our user interface provide you the deep link to this pull request. 
So let's observe what we have generated. We have generated A, the cluster manifest. This is basically the rendered um, cluster manifest from the template. And B, we, we instruct directly Flux to, to bootstrap this Helm releases once Flux is up and running onto the cluster. And we added as well something additional, which we call layers. And basically with a layer, you can instruct the dependencies. So we can make sure that your, your Helm charts are provided in the right order. So for example, you probably cert manager before you do something else. And basically this makes this, this possible. So we can hear this all looks good. We have our keys and everything what we need to establish um, our connection. So we're going back and we're gonna merge this pull request, right? So this is the general GitOps flow. And now we can delete this branch and we're gonna wait what happens here. So in a couple of seconds, we should be already ready to basically pick our cube config. If everything goes nice, but um, it should be. So we just need to wait that basically Flux is um, reconciling this into the cluster. Let's not forget if that basically what we are doing is GitOps. So this is now added to the management cluster. This um, new CRs and we are waiting that they are getting reconciled. So now we can see the cluster's already found and it's starting to provision. I didn't check the time, but it was quite fast. So I download the cube config. And now what I'm gonna do is for this demonstration purpose, I'm gonna switch to lens. Yes, this is uh, bootstrapping. Now you can see it's there. So this basically was the time it took to bootstrap this cluster. And now we can really observe what's happening. So we can see our control plane is already up. I, I think it took me not more than a minute. And in a couple of seconds, we can see how our worker nodes will come up. And we can then start to look into what is happening with our workloads. So let's go into our workloads. This is yet empty, but this is probably because I'm just looking in our default namespaces. Let's watch in all, all our namespaces. And we can see how our cube API is coming up. And we can see how our first services are coming up. So let's give this a moment. Um, this is a live demo. So I, I, I mean, probably all know how long it can take to, to bring up and bootstrap a cluster, but look how fast this is. So here we have already Flux coming up. Our, our VAF GitOps engine is coming up. And when this is up, this is the first thing we do. I'm gonna repeat this, is our bootstrapper makes sure that this cluster is as well provisioned our GitOps engine. And once this is up, we make sure that all the right manifests are going into this cluster. So if we give this one more moment and this pods go from pending into running, which should happen any second, then it will directly bootstrap our cluster components and it will first bootstrap Prometheus because Prometheus is um, one of the foundational layers. And then it will start to, to take the policy agent, which is basically has no declared layer. So let's give it another small moment. Um, we can as well see that now our two worker nodes are already up and running. So our cluster is almost completely ready to go. Um, so if we are looking here into our pods, what is happening now, everything is running. So the next thing we can see is what will happen is that we get Prometheus into the cluster and we get um, our policy agent into the cluster. Maybe we can already look if our pol policy agent has landed. Not yet, not yet, but we can basically see what, what Flux is doing. So if we go to Flux here, we can see that it's connecting to this Git repo and it's using this customizations. But with it, um, we're gonna have the chance and we can see our lens is doing a nice job, but we have as well the very nice proper 
uh, VF GitOps UI. So let's see what is happening. So now everything is running. So we have Prometheus. We have as well, let me check. Do we have already our policy agent? We should. Megalix, here it is. And it already sucked in three standard policies. So this is, is part of, of the Helm chart. This is just to show how much flexibility you have. You can even define directly as part of, of your Helm chart some policies that directly get reconciled and sucked in. And I didn't check the time, but this is now a fully operating cluster. So Thank you, David, for a very interesting demo. To find out more about Weave GitOps, visit our website. We regularly host hands-on workshops. To join in, visit our events page.